Hello and welcome to Advanced Excel. In today's session, we'll learn how to create a dynamic chart so that when I change the month on the chart, for example, it changes the chart dynamically. And in this example, you can notice that my month name is right in the drop down in the chart itself. As I click over here, the month changes and it works correctly as per the data available over here because I'm updating my months so easily. Let us now try to learn how to create a dynamic chart like this. I am Sanjay Gandhi. I'll take you through steps of creating a dynamic chart using a drop down in the chart itself. So we go back to the data without the chart. In the first if you mark a selection for the columns over here and shift the columns to the right side to create space for the formula over here. And right here you can notice I've had the merge cells available to which I want to create the drop down for example. So I go to data validation allow list and the source and the source is the months available over here. Okay. And the months appear correct over here. I've center aligned already over here. So I can notice that the change of the month will indicate right over here. So step one create a gap and then the drop down which contains my months. Step number two, important part is I must have the formula assigned over here so that based on the month over here, it picks up the data from these months and writes the column over here. Edge lookup is a good function for that purpose. Besides that, let's try to learn one more function over here, which is row. If I say equal to row, for example, it gives me current row number over here, which is 15 right now. If I copy this across and paste it here, it's still 15 because the row number is still same. And if I copy that down, for example, over here, it's 17 over here. So function row indicates current row number by default. Clear that. So we go to edge lookup and work on it. Edge lookup, search this value. I must lock that using function kf4 because I need to copy that down comma in this range log this as well comma I need to search the first one in the first row only so I must write one but if I write one and copy that down it remains fixed so I use my function called row over here which in this case will give me number five because I'm on row number five right now minus four gives me one so when I copy that down it becomes six minus four indicating two and so on comma zero for exact match close bracket enter and then double click the fill handle to copy that down apply borders copy and paste format paste special and the format over here and we're done so you can notice that the formula over here will fetch the value from here and based on the value here will give me the data available here so if i change that March to February, for example, you can notice that the Feb values 400, 320, 480 have gone over here. And if I change that to January, for example, 300, 400, 450 have gone over here. That means edge lookup from this data is giving the right values over here. So all I need to do is create a chart from here. Click and shift click to select the small selection. Alt F1 to open my chart and then use Alt key to resize buttons so that the chart appears right in alignment with my cell borders. So I align that properly over here, across as well. So I get some alignment over here correctly. Now this is fine. Now because of a single series available over here, the color also is single. So I can right click over here, format data series, go to the properties page, fill handle, in the fill handle, vary colors by point. This option comes only when there's a single series available because in multi series, the colors are already multiple. So I cross that over here. I've got my single series multicolored. Apply data labels. Outside end is a default. Close element to the title and clear title from here and then go to the major grid lines 
apply format and make it more dark that's fair click on the border of the chart so that I can create format with shape fill as no fill and outline as no outline over here and then click over here and finally over here shift click and then apply the borders outside and then the fill over here with blue accent that's how it shows so you've got the drop down available over here apply the left and the right border looks better the lines over here can be with the shadow nice effect comes in the series also with the shadow a good effect appears and the labels with some kind of format over here for example gradient fill I choose the one with the linear diagonal over here and click outside and we are done we go to the drop down here change the values here so the values will transfer from here to here and my chart is coming from the data set over here if you click the chart here for example you can notice the data is being picked up from here therefore when I make a change over here for the month the month gets the values transferred from here to here say for example March if I do click anywhere and go back to the drop down March for example the values go from here to here therefore giving me the chart correctly in this manner so I use a drop down and clearly see my data set changing for different months therefore the final steps are create a blank column in B here decide the cell drop down here and apply the drop down for the months in cell B5 write edge lookup as given in cell B5 here we write the formula edge lookup as given copy the function down create a chart using A5 to B11 and then apply data labels outside remove fill color outline for the chart and then resize the chart to include the drop down and apply a format so we are done and we can see that our dynamic chart looks fairly good and we can use the drop down the way we like it a good method of creating a dynamic chart and a good presentation thank you mm -hmm.